I'm James Briarton in Charlotte with an update on our winter weather event for Wednesday and Thursday. So let's look at the future cast starting at about 7 a.m. here on Wednesday. You can see snow starting to move into the western North Carolina mountains. And then as we advance this through the rest of the Wednesday morning commute, 8, 9, 10 o'clock, you start to see it now moving through the foothills, maybe into the triad, flirting with Charlotte. And again, we have a lot of dry air, air out ahead of that. But as we get to 11 or 12 o'clock, we'll start to see some rain moving into South Carolina. But also note the mixing of winter precipitation. I'm talking about sleet and freezing rain setting up over the I-95 corridor in eastern North Carolina. That's going to be a big culprit with this storm. One, two, three, four o'clock. That starts to pick up there in eastern North Carolina. We're starting to see not only heavier snow, but also heavier freezing rain and sleet. At the same time, we're starting to get some drier air moving back in across the I-77 corridor. We'll actually see a pause in any of that winter precipitation as we head into the after. Um, sunset hours, but we still will see impacts on the road where that precipitation will then be freezing after sunset. As we go through the overnight hours, expect that winter precipitation still falling over eastern North Carolina. And don't be surprised on Thursday morning if there's a chance, and yeah, I said chance, that we could see a brief round of flurries move on through. So if you had school or work impacts on Wednesday, you could see the same thing come Thursday. So what type of snow totals are we talking about? The National Weather Service is calling for six to eight inches of snow accumulation in Elizabeth City and across portions of northeastern North Carolina. Roanoke Rapids, four to six. Plymouth, three to four. Rocky Mount, two to three. Roxboro, three to four. Raleigh, one to two. Lesser amounts as you head south and as you head west. That big story, though, that is going to be the ice. You can see it there over portions of eastern North Carolina near Goldsboro, near Greenville, quarter to half an inch of ice. That will be enough combined with gusty winds to cause power outages and bring down some trees. If we're going to make a prediction on where we see some of the biggest winter weather impacts with this storm, it's going to be in that area. If you're in South Carolina, very minimal impact in terms of snowfall, very minimal impact in terms of ice. So that's certainly some good news if you live in South Carolina, but we will be watching again for a mix of snow, freezing rain, and sleet on Wednesday and Thursday morning across portions of North Carolina, mostly just rain back across South Carolina. I hope you'll join me and our Carolina Weather Group panel for our live weekly show. It's happening Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on YouTube and across our network where you'll be able to join us for a live conversation. Tell us where you are, what you are seeing, and what some of the winter weather impacts have been. I'm James Byerton. I'll see you there at nine o'clock. I'll also mention that the state officials here in North Carolina, Josh Stein, along with transportation officials, held a briefing on Tuesday to talk about winter storm preps. And you can see that right here.